Hey beautiful people, old man Vin. I'm making this video because I promised myself I would, if it worked. And what worked? The Firepower FCA 1616 under Linux using not the USB 2, but Firewire. Now, save you from watching the video, everything worked out of the box with Ubuntu 1804 LTS, just using Jack. No issues. Also works with USB 2. So if you've been searching and you ran across this video, there you go. You had a better experience than I did because I genuinely felt like I was taking the Pepsi challenge when I picked this up. But if you want to continue watching, I'm going to show how it's set up. I'm going to launch our door and show it functioning in the rack and maybe tie it in with Pulse Audio Bridge. Give you an idea of how we record some of our nonsense. So let's go. Out of the box, we have four combo jacks, quarter inch in, XLR, with the controls, individual volume, individual phantom power, uh, pads, low cut, line filter. Pretty neat, two headphone jacks with a mono switch between them, plus your analog in, analog out LEDs. On the back, it's your standard MIDI in, MIDI out, USB 2, and Firewire. That's what I like. Light pipes, ADA, and SPDIF. Eight line outs, two of them being left and right for your main. But we also have eight insert jacks. That's neat. Followed by the four line level inputs to give you the total of eight. Plugged in, these are about $25, $30. IO Crest, PCIe FireWire card. Nothing special. This is everything in production. Get the four lines running in to the FCA 1616. You can see over here on the LEDs. That's recording, plus what it's sending over through the mix minus. That's our compressor, limiter, expander, and on the bottom, that's just the preamp for this microphone. So on the desktop, I have it set up with cadence, front end for jack. With configuring this, all I had to do was change it from ALSA to Firewire. My sample rate's 4800, buffer size 64, periods per buffer is four. And I click start. I remember doing this the first time. It takes a minute. I had no illusions that this was going to work, but it did. So if I go over to tools and open up the digital patch bay, you can see it auto connected because I have Pulse Audio Bridge set up, but I'm going to disconnect these because we're going to launch our door and I'll show you how I have things set up for recording. All right. There's some things from the earlier test. We can blow that out. But you'll see the VU meters here on the five tracks. That's me, that's Jordan, that's Pedro, Discord, um, show music, and we have five buses for the mix minus FX and whatever you want to call it. Let's test the recording. Let's lock that. And we should get some waveforms. There we go. That's five tracks. Nothing to it. What do we have next? Let's take a look at the patch bay. You can see I have it wired in to where the main mix is going into the Pulse Audio bridge. So I can use other programs like Audacity or OBS. If we take a look at the routing grid, that should be an option in our door for your front left, front right setup. So if we open Audacity, we should be getting the two channel mix directly. Let's check Pavu control because it doesn't like to stay on the right thing. Right. So I'll have to change this to Jack source. That's it. Easy as that. So there we have it. Um, not much to it. Install the card, plug it up. It works. And again, you can still use this with USB 2.0. Uh, Go for it if you like it, if you're looking for a cheap, relatively low cost eight channel, four preamps, four line ins, a gang of line out, and a dat with spitif, which is neat. That's nice. I got this used for, I think, $165 with free shipping on Amazon. New, they're 230 ish. That's a bit more, but I like it. It works. And I know a lot of people have the knee-jerk reaction of, oh, it's Behringer, it's horrible, I don't like it. They make stuff the musicians can afford, and it does the job. Um, if anything, 
I will say with the Midas preamps, they're flat, which I like flat. I don't like any type of flavor on top of my preamps because I'm going to take care of that in the EQ. But there you go. Look, I made the video. I said I would. And I hope, I really hope, this saves somebody two days of Googling and coming up empty. All right, go out and make some cool stuff.